All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how I made cable foot pedal steering for my Bonafide SS127 kayak. Now, this can be used on other kayaks as well. That being said, let's go ahead and get started. These are the main parts I'm going to be using in this project. For the cable guide, I'll be using this one quarter inch diameter irrigation tubing. And I chose that because it's made for an outdoor environment, which should work well for this kayak application. Then I'm also going to be using the brass one quarter inch OD insert here that's normally used for like refrigerator type tubing. And then I'm also going to be using this Dyneema cord as my cable. This is a tip that might help you when you're determining the length that you need for your tubing. As you can see, this is the exit point or entry point of the tubing in the rear, and I have my tape measure starting there. And you go up along the side, and this will be the same for both sides. And I'm bringing it up to the front exit or entry point of the tubing, whichever you want to say. And it's about 62 inches. So you know that when you're pulling your tubing through the inside of the hole that it's going to be somewhere close to maybe about a foot longer than your measured length. And that's important to know because if it becomes kinked inside the hole or gets wrapped around something, the length of your tubing is going to be very much bigger than what you've calculated it to be. And that's how you know if you have a pretty good straight line through the hole. Because the more twists and turns you have of your tubing, the more friction points there are for your Dyneema cord. This is a view from the rear of the kayak. I wanted to show you where I'm going to run the tubing through. And at the rear where the control cables are going to be coming out and attaching to the trolling motor steering control arm. So right here and then on the other side over there you have some holes that are started on this kayak that's typically used for the rudder system. But that's where I'm going to run my tubing through and I'll show you the next location. This is a view from the front of the boat looking to the rear behind one of the foot pedals that's going to be used in this project. And you can see, here's my foot pedal here, and the entry exit hole for the tubing and the cable steering is going to be right here, so I'll drill a hole here, I'll mark it first. And then there's a little hole here that goes through the pedal itself where I will tie off the Dyneema cord used for this project. Okay, so here's the hole I drilled in the front, and then I'll go around and show you the one I did in the rear. And here's the hole that I drilled in the rear. Now all I need to do is just put the tubing through and connect these two holes. Okay, what I've done here is removed this hatch cover here so I could get to the wire that I ran from the front hole near the foot pedals all the way out through the back here. And then what I'm also going to do is run a wire through this section here, which is the rear exit point for the cable steering, and then run it down through the hole here to this piece. And then when I join these two pieces together like this, what that will do is allow me to pull the wire through here and have one continuous wire going from the front hole to the rear hole so I can pull my tubing through. Okay, so I ran another wire through the rear hole here and then I wrapped it and then covered it with tape to the one coming from the front. So all I have to do now is pull this through and it will connect everything together. 
All right, this is my one continuous piece of wire that goes all the way through. And then what I did was I just doubled it up and jammed it inside the tubing I'm going to use. And then I'm going to pull from the front and pull my length of tubing all the way through. But I'll start it here first just to make sure it doesn't get hung up. So now I'm going to go to the front and pull it. Okay, so now it's all the way through the front. It did jam up a little bit when I first got it past this point, but everything else came out just fine. Okay, I wanted to show a close-up demonstration of how I'm flaring the cable tubing and using the insert that I showed you in the parts list. So to start off, I just have a little section of the quarter-inch inner diameter tubing that I'm going to use. And... I have my brass quarter inch insert, then I have a putty knife, and I have just a lighter. So, to start off, I'm going to heat up the end here. And you can see it start to curl a little bit. And then using this, I'm going to press down on it. And that gives a really good flare with a lip on it. Then, you're just going to take your insert here, and just like it says, push it in there. And this is going to give you your flare tip. Now, just in case it's a little difficult for you to push it in, go ahead and just run the flame a little bit on the tubing just to soften it up. and It'll go in a little bit easier. But this gives a really nice, solid flare section for your tubing. Okay, let's see if I can get into focus here. I inserted the quarter inch insert there and you can see that the lip on that lines up with the lip on the tubing which will make this very strong so if I pull it through it's not going to come all the way through the hole. Okay, so the rear part is installed and I put a little bit of silicone in there just to hold everything in place. Now I'm going to go around to the front. This is a view of the tubing coming out in the front near the foot pedals. And as you can see, I have it held in place with a little vice grips, not on too tight, but just enough to make sure that it doesn't slide back through. And I pulled it a little bit taut, so once I make my cut in here at about an inch and a half out here, it'll retract back into the hole and hold in there snug. And I'll do the same method I did for making the lip on this end and then putting in the insert. And once I siliconed along the lip and released the vice grips, it slipped right back into the hole and that's what the front looks like. I got the Dyneema cord to go through the tubing, but it started to ball up a little bit through the travel. So what I ended up doing was getting a piece of braided fishing line, pushing that through first, and then tying it off on the Dyneema and pulling it through. And it worked very easy. So you can see the cord coming out here, and then it goes through the hole in the foot pedal, and I just tied a knot to hold it in place. This is a view of the rear of the tubing exits on the kayak and how it's connected to my trolling motor setup here. So that's it. If you have any questions, please leave them for me in the comments. Thank you.